are you a power internet user who uses the browser all the time and uh, if you are that guy then this video is going to be the one that you are going to like it so if you have not heard it before then this is a browser called bibaldi so bibaldi is a very unique browser it is not like the other browsers like we have for example the firefox and the chrome this is completely different because it has so many features that you can use and become a pro so how you can use these features i'm just going to show you some of the features right now so for example here is this website that i go to and uh, here is the another website that is here this is andy tv new delhi tv so for example i want to view both of the websites side by side what i can do i can simply grab this tab here i can put it over the other another tab and wait for a second it turns a little bit dim i will leave it it will combine both the tabs into one now what i can do now right click and uh, go to and click tile tab stack this will view both the websites at the same time so i can open another website also for example if i want to view this i can simply right click and move it to the bottom and this will open the story the post in a new tab so you can do that if you want to open a new tab the empty new tab you can also do this using like right click and bottom swipe and you can do that so these are actually the gestures that you get with the browser so if you go to the settings and inside the mouse section you get these all gestures that you can use for example to uh, do open reopen a close tab reload a page so let's try this one so how to reload a page so for example i'm in, on this page so i'm going to reload this page so what i can do i can do this and this will reload the page basically okay so i have to go up to down right so i have first go to up and down then this will reload the page as you can see it's reloading here so you can use the gestures in this browser next thing you probably have noticed the sidebar so if i remove these tabs from here and go to these sidebar so here you can see your downloads so all the downloads will be here you can see your bookmarks then you can see your history here then you can see the windows here so that you have opened then you can also have your notes so if you want to add some note here you can simply add them here just click on this add button and start typing a note and you can save the note basically so this is the add screenshot and add capture and uh, you can add things here and you can simply add the note so this is the note i have here next we can use the sidebar as a mini browser as well so for example i have added the youtube here i can search for any song here for example 101 by sidhe moth and i can play the song while i can browse any website along with the song right so i can view the website along with the song that i really like so i'm just going to set this window and you can also have your your whatsapp your telegram or any messenger that you want here you can simply add them and uh, now let's talk about the extensions that it supports so any extension that is supported on google chrome then that, that you can install in this browser as well because both of the browsers and mostly all the browsers nowadays except the firefox which are very popular and uh, these all browsers are based on a browser an open source browser known as chromium so your chrome opera mini microsoft's ads this bibaldi and google chrome all of these browsers are based on chromium chromium is this from this browser here so this is the chromium that is the mother of all the browsers you can say so now let's talk about the settings it offers so if i go to settings if i go to journals you get the basic settings for example you can set the home page here you can confirmation exit you can set this here you can set it as a default you can change the the language of your interface then this appearance section you can tweak the appearance for example here you can change the scale factor of your browser if you want and you can also set the background image here if you want and these other options and you can also customize the icon for example uh, these this menu is on the top here if you don't want it you want vivaldi button so this vivaldi button will act as a menu next we have themes in this section here you can change the themes 
so there are plenty of themes that you can use you can also edit the theme that is the most interesting part because you can customize it the way you want right that is the thing that you probably want in a linux system so you can change the theme here and you can also schedule the themes for example you want a lighter theme in the morning then you can set here and if you want to add darker theme in the evening then you can set it here it also gets synced with philips hue then you get these start page settings for example this is the start page and it looks like this and if i want to change it i can customize it like this right so this is on you how you want to customize your browser then the tab settings like where you want your tabs to be positions for example i want them in the bottom then i can have them in the bottom just like you used to have in your windows xp and windows 7 right like that you can have that and these bunch of settings that you can tweak from then you you have the panel that we already talked about you can tweak it as well and these all settings it also comes with quick commands so you can execute some certain commands directly do the things in your web browser and uh, it also comes with a syncing facility so you can sync your bookmarks and uh, history with the different devices if you want so you can do that as well you have to create the vivaldi account for that purpose and uh, lastly what i want to show you how you can how you can download this web browser so for that you can go to vivaldi.com and here just click on download button and this will take you to another page here you can select your distribution the one you have and download the package and for linux it comes with uh, .dap package and .rpm depending upon the system you are using so this one is ubuntu based so i will be downloading the .dap file and if you are using like fedora or red hat or any linux distribution that uses rpm as a package then you can use the rpm version here the last thing i want to talk about here is this one so if i cut this window okay not that one so if i open it up and i will go to home and i will click here with all the features then here you can see all the top features that it has and these all the features inside these main headings so for example how you can stack your tabs how you can use speed dials how you can use page actions and these all things you can simply click on it and learn how to use that particular feature it will basically guide you through easy guide and you will be able to use the feature in this web browser so this was it in this video i hope you find this video helpful and you really like the browser the vivaldi browser and for a fact this browser is created by the same guy who was the CEO of uh, Opera. So the same guy built another company and they called it Vivaldi. That's all in this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then take care and keep enjoying Linux.